In this video I'm going to show you how to use a typography file Photoshop action. So I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration of the action. And the way the action works is you open up your photo, uh, you fill in your subject with a color and just play the action. And this is the effect that the action creates. Right? So as you can see everything except your subject or actually the everything outside of the area you have brushed will be turned uh, into typography. And you can choose from 90 different uh, typography uh, patterns. Okay, so after I finish with this example, I'm gonna demonstrate the action on, on this example as well. So I'm going to create from this photo this effect. And then after I finish with this example, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the action on one more example that is this one here. So I'm going to uh, create from this photo this effect. So as you can see you can also turn the whole photo into the typography effect. Alright, so I'm gonna close these windows. Okay, so after you open your photo there are a few things that you check to make sure uh, the action will run without the errors. So before you run the action just uh, after you have opened your photo, uh, make sure that your photo is a background layer, so it should be called a background and have this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new and just choose a background from layer. Then just click on this menu icon here and go to panel options and just make sure you got this option here checked. Alright. And go to image mode. Uh, your photo should be in RGB color mode, 8-bit kennel and check the image size over here. So you should use high resolution images and uh, for best results you should use the photos that are around from 20, 3500 uh, pixels wide or high and just keep in mind that as your photo is smaller the, the typography text will appear uh, uh, bigger and also if you're using uh, larger photos uh, the typography will appear smaller, right? But you can change the, the uh, also you can change the, the size of the uh, typography pattern, right? So now just go to layer new and choose a uh, layer to create a new layer and just name it this layer brush and it's very important that you write the word brush exactly like this, all letters lowercase because otherwise the action won't work, just click OK and now just, you can just hit B on your keyboard to select the brush tool and uh, choose any color here, color is not matter right? and just fill in your subject with the colors, you can do it on this way by brushing right? if you wish to have sharper edges then you can just use also the brush but smaller one like this and uh, also what you can do is uh, you can just uh, create a selection of your subject and just fill it uh, with the colors, so for example use some of the lasso tools Right, so after you, you just create the uh, selection of your subject, right? And just after you, after you finish with the selection, after you select the whole subject, then just go to Edit, Fill, and uh, uh, just fill it with a foreground color, right? Just make sure you're, you're filling selection while this layer here is selected, right? So you need to have that color fill uh, on this uh, brush layer. So I'm just gonna open my uh, PSD file as I've already done brushing before. Here it is. All right. So after you fill in your subject with a color, uh, all you have to do is to play the action. So just to load the action, go to Window. Uh, if you already don't have the action panel here, so just go to Window, Actions, and click on this menu icon here, Load Actions, and now just choose the uh, uh, choose the action according to your Photoshop version. Alright. And to load the patterns, you can just choose the pattern stamp tool from here. Click on the little arrow there on the gear icon and just load patterns and just choose the patterns that can be downloaded. Alright, so just gonna change this to the uh, large tumble. Alright, so as I already said before, you can choose from uh, 
from 90 different typography patterns and uh, oops, excuse me so uh, we have the uh, nine uh, different layout styles right and all that uh, nine uh, different layout styles in 10 different fonts right so here in the first row uh, you can choose the patterns that are uh, uh, horizontal layout in their uh, in 10 different fonts right so here we got the this one here are the vertical uh, vertical layout patterns all right with the also in 10 different fonts uh, then here we got the uh, uh, these patterns here are uh, have the horizontal plus vertical layout and this one here uh, has um, horizontal plus vertical plus crossing words this one here are just the crossing words uh, these here are the dancing words this one here are the positive slope this one here are the negative slope layout patterns and this one here are the random layout patterns all right so and uh, they are divided into the they're all available into the 10 uh, different fonts all right so all you have to do now is to just play the action and the action will start for three times asking you to do some quick things so I'm just gonna click play all right here's the first message it says in next pop-up window save your file as a psd file you can use any file name and save location and you got a notice it says you will have to choose that file in some of the following steps choose continue to proceed so as i'm going to need to select this uh, file in next uh, some of the next few steps i'm just gonna save it uh, on my desktop and just gonna i'm just gonna name it this place is going to be display filter applied it right and just make sure it you're saving the file as a psd file here all right click save okay Yes, will continue to work and here is another message it says in next pop-up window choose the typography pattern that you like also make sure that you have the following settings mode normal opacity 100 percent notice and it says you will be able to change the typography pattern later choose continue to proceed so you just click here after you make sure you got these settings but they should be already set like that by the action so you can also set here the large tumbles so you can more clearly see the look of the the patterns but as it's saying the message you you'll be able to change the pattern to any other later right so you can just choose any that you want i'm just going to choose this one first here and uh, just click ok and here's a final message it says in next pop-up window make sure you have the following settings horizontal scale 10 vertical scale 10 displace and mat uh, stretch to fit and undefined areas repeat edge pixels and it says then click OK, choose the PSD file you have saved before and click open. Choose continue to proceed. So click continue. Just make sure you got these settings here. Click continue again. Uh, OK, and uh, uh, here all you have to do is to just select the file, the PSD file that you saved uh, before, right? So this one here. And after you click open, the action will continue to work. So I'm going to fasten the video here uh, and get back as soon as the action is finished. And then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how can you uh, how each layer works and how can you customize them to uh, to get most of the effect, right? Okay, so the action here just finished, so I'm just gonna close the actions panel and uh, just gonna expand a little bit this layers panel here like this. Okay, so the first layer we got here is the brush layer that I made at the beginning of the video, and uh, why you got this layer here is for the case if we for example to just modify you wish to add some more areas into this brush area so you don't have to brush all areas that you would uh, brush again right for example so you just wish to add some more areas but you wish to, to have all these what you have brushed again you don't have to repeat the step and brush all over these areas you can just pick a brush tool and you can brush with any color you don't have to brush with the same color and for example you add some more areas into this brush like this you just delete this folder and you can just play the action again right or if you wish to remove some areas of, of your brush uh, layer, right? For example, you just wish to uh, remove the uh, turn more areas into the purpose. So you just want to wish to remove some more areas like this, for example. You can just uh, delete the topography folder, play the action again. All right, so that's where I got this uh, brush layer here. So just gonna uh, hide it for now. And uh, 
first layer we got here is the overall sharpening. So how you change the sharpening is you just change the opacity. And to change the opacity, you can just click on the red opacity, drag it aside, right, left, right, or you can click on the arrow here and then move this pointer here. And it's the same for all other layers where you, that you customize by changing the opacity, right? So I usually just click on the red opacity and drag it aside. Okay, and uh, uh, if you're happy with this effect, you, you can then just uh, set the uh, sharpening to the value that you like. But if, if you're planning to try, if you wish to uh, to customize this effect, then just uh, turn on this layer for now, and I'm going to explain you uh, why later. So, because uh, if you're to customize the effect, you will need to make this layer again. All right, so I'm just gonna start customizing this this effect from the bottom. So here we got a background color layer, and if you just turn it off and on, you'll see no differences. Uh, also, if you uh, change the color, uh, it will not make any uh, changes. But if, for example, here we got a layer that says a typography base. So if you just uh, select this layer mask and brush with a black color uh, or some areas, for example, like this, uh, then you can remove this layer on that area. And now if you change the color, you're also going to change the color of that areas. All right. Just like that. So when you remove this, uh, when you brush with the black color anywhere here to this layer mask, you're removing this layer and then this one layer here is visible, the background color. If it's set to white like this now, it will make no changes. All right. Uh, when I brush over the, the white areas, it's here, white areas here in the background. So uh, here we got the typography base brightness, and uh, when double click here, you can just move these pointers right there. Okay, so this one is going to fade the blacks in your uh, in your photo. This one is going to fade the whites. So you're just going to fade the blacks a, a little bit, uh, something like this. Uh, here we got a typography texture. So here we got a, a displace filter. So when you double click there, if you wish, you can. If you wish to increase the displacement, you can just uh, uh, just set some other values here. Choose OK, then just uh, choose your file and uh, that you have saved on the beginning. Uh, and if you wish to change this typography texture, you can just double click here and you will get your uh, texture into into uh, another window. So, and uh, here what you can do is you can create a new layer and press Shift uh, and a plus F5 on your keyboard, and just, just choose the any other pattern that you like. For example, choose like this one here. Click OK, and after that, when you just press Control or Command uh, for my uh, plus S for to save your file. Is going to be automatically updated here, right? As you can see. And uh, if you wish to use your previous uh, texture, you can then just delete this layer or hide it, and then just press Control Command plus S again to save your file and get back to its uh, the uh, pattern that you chose on the on the beginning. All right. And here we got a typography texture brightness. So when you double click here. Uh, you can just move these three pointers to change the brightness uh, of the typography. All right, so I'm going to just uh, increase the highlights a little bit, just like that. And uh, here we got the vignette. All right, so what is layer is create this vignette effect, and uh, you can change its opacity here. I'm going to set it something like this. Uh, here we got a subject. So, if you wish to use, uh, uh, or if you wish to create the turn the whole photo into the typography, you can then just hide this whole group, the main subject group, right? And you, you your fo whole photo will be turned into the typography. Uh, okay. So uh, when you open the folder, here you got a subject, and uh, here we got the adjustment layers. Uh, that are affecting only the subject. All right. So the first layer we got here is the subject contrast. So 
this layer is gonna uh, with this layer you're adjusting the uh, contrast only of the subject. Okay, here we got a subject brightness, so you can also adjust the subject brightness. I'm just gonna keep it default, and here we got a subject color. So when you double click here, uh, you can uh, change the color by uh, you can change the separately sh uh, color of the shadows of the midtones and the highlights. Okay. I'm just gonna set it to something like this. I'm gonna increase this one there, and just gonna adjust the highlights. Okay. And uh, here we got the subject saturation. So when you double click here. You can change the saturation of your subject. If you wish, you can create a black and white effect. If you just set this, uh, if you just uh, remove the saturation, and uh, I'm just going to increase the saturation. An example, something like this. Okay, and just going to get back here, and uh, uh, to show you one more thing. So, if you wish to transform this paper, you can just press Control or Command T on your keyboard. Choose OK. And uh, then you can just uh, scale these texture like so. I'd like just to just scale like this, all right? So just click on this here to, to keep the proportions, and then just click onto the uh, W here, and you can just increase the, the size, all right? I'm just gonna increase it just a slightly, just like this. And after that, the displace filter will be uh, applied again, right? And what we got here is the overall contrast. So this one, uh, uh, this layer here, uh, is uh, uh, giving a contrast to the whole photo of both typography and the subject. I'm just going to increase slightly like this. And uh, why you have to create this uh, layer again is because if you just turn it on. Uh, if you just start move it, you will see that uh, all the lines that this layer has uh, they are they are giving the sharpen that are the edges uh, of the, the the photo and they are giving the uh, the sharpening, right? But when you make some changes here, this layer and that edges have to be updated again, right? For example, you transform this texture or you choose some other uh, you change the texture, so that's why you have to make this layer again. So you're just just gonna delete it. And just press Control Alt Shift and D or Command Option Shift D on your keyboard to make a Snapchat, and uh, then press Control Shift U or Command Shift U to the saturate the photo, and go to Filter Other High Pass, and set Radius to two pixels. Choose OK, and then just change the blending mode to Vivid Light. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can then. Uh, change the opacity and change the sharpening that way. Also, I'm going to do just one more thing here. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate this layer subject situation, all right? And just going to press Control Alt G or Command Option G to create a, a clipping mask, and double click here and just going to remove the situation to, uh, totally. And now you just saturated the whole subject. So now just select this layer. Uh, layer mask and press Control I or Command I, and uh, now I have filled the layer mask with a black color, and this layer is not visible. So if I just turn it off and on, there will be no differences. And now I'm just gonna pick a uh, brush tool, right, and uh, pick some soft brush. You can use square brackets on the keyboard to change the size of the brush. And I'm just gonna set the foreground color to white. Now, wherever I brush at those areas, uh, this layer will be visible those areas, so it will desaturate those areas. So what I want to do is to just desaturate those shadows here. So I'm just gonna brush like that.
Okay. That's it. So just quickly check before and after. So this is the before and this is the after effect. Okay, so just gonna close this window now, just gonna close this texture and just gonna open the second example here. Uh, here I've already done the brushing, so after you open the photo, uh, I check all the things I have, ma I have mentioned at the beginning of the video. I have made a, a brush layer, what I have to do now is to just play the action. So just gonna uh, click play and I'm going to fasten the video here uh, through all the messages as I have already uh, showed that before. So I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished and then going to uh, customize the effect that they got. Okay, so the action here just finished, so just gonna close the action panel again. And uh, I'm gonna hide this layer again because I want to customize this effect. Okay, and I'm gonna start customizing it from the bottom again. So here just gonna change the um, typography base brightness, right? So double click here and uh, just gonna drop the shadows. Uh, reveal the details, the typography in the background, and uh, just like that. All right. And now just gonna, I'm just gonna keep this uh, typography text. So just gonna move to the next layer. And uh, just gonna double, double click here, and uh, just gonna s increase the highlights. Okay, so if your if your photo has a dark background, uh, background like this one here, and the typography is not visible there, you just have to drop the sh the blacks here, the shadows, right? And uh, here we got the um, uh, the vignette. I'm just gonna drop it down. something like this or just gonna just gonna keep it a little bit higher value that's like that okay so here we got a subject contrast so just gonna increase the contrast a little bit and then you're just gonna uh, adjust the brightness Okay, here we got a subject color and uh, I'm just gonna set it to something like this. Okay, so as you can just uh, change the colors of the midtones here, so you can choose it for to uh, all both shadows, midtones, and uh, also highlights. But you can choose only to, you can only change the color of the shadows or, or only of the midtones or only of the highlights, right? So here I can just change the color of the midtones. Okay, and here we got a subject saturation. I'm just gonna drop the saturation here in this example, like this. Okay, so here we got the overall contrast. Like this, and just gonna create the this uh, layer again, so you press Ctrl, R, Shift, and D, or Command, Option, Shift, and D to make a snapshot. Command or Shift, uh, com uh, Control or Command, Shift, U to desaturate the photo, filter, high pass, and uh, if you don't have the filter here, just go to other, choose from here, high pass, and just gonna uh, change the blending mode to vivid light, and that's it. Alright, so this is the, to check the just gonna check the before and after quickly. So this is the before, and this is the after. Okay. And the final example here. So, if you wish to turn uh, the whole photo uh, into the typography, you don't uh, have to brush over your subject, all right? So if you already did brush with your subject, play the action as I have demonstrated before, you can then just hide the, the subject uh, folder and you will uh, have your photo turned into the typography. But if you uh, 
you wish to turn uh, you do, uh, uh, the whole photo into typography, you don't have to brush over your subject, right? All you have to do is to, after you create a new layer here, name it brush, all you have to do is to, you can just make some, you still need to have uh, the brush layer and some uh, to brush over your photo, but you can just make some scribble like this, all right? It doesn't matter because you're going to hide the layer, like, all right? So you do it just like that and just play the exercise, going to fasten the video here again and get back as soon as the action is finished. Okay, so the action has just finished, so just gonna close the actions panel and the first thing I'm going to do now is to just hide the main subject folder, all right? And as you can see, uh, when you want to turn the whole folder into typography, uh, you don't uh, have to brush your subject, you just make some uh, scribble in a second and just play the action and uh, and that's it, all right? So, just gonna customize this effect now, so just gonna uh, hide the over sharpening as well. So just gonna increase the highlights here a little bit and uh, gonna increase the highlights here as well. Okay. I'm gonna hide the vignette here. So and just gonna uh, increase the contrast like this. Just gonna delete this layer, create it again. All right, so you make a Snapchat. Uh, you saturate the photo, filter, high pass, with light, and that's it. All right, so like just check the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after. Okay, so I hope you understood everything, but you, if you need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato Profit page. Thanks for watching.